Hi. In this video I'm going to show you how to solve a skyscraper's puzzle. The easiest starting point is if you find the highest possible clue. In a 4x4 puzzle like this, the highest possible clue is 4. This means that all four skyscrapers are visible from that spot. The only possible way is if they are ordered from the lowest to the highest. Another easy starting point is to look for ones. They indicate that only one skyscraper is visible. This should be the highest skyscraper, which blocks the view to all the rest. Take a look at the two on the last row. We already have a four on that row, which will always be visible. We need only two skyscrapers to be visible and we always can see the skyscraper in the cell, which is next to the clue. If we place a 1 or a 2 in that cell, we will also see the 3, because it is higher. We have to place the 3 in the first cell next to the clue, so it hides the 1 and the 2. We have a similar case in the first column. If we place a 3 in the top cell then we will see only the 3 and the 4, while we need to see 3 skyscrapers. We must have a 2 in the top cell. And we can complete the column by placing the 3. Each number should participate only once in each row and column. Check out the 4s. We have a 4 on the first, the second and the last row. On the first, the third and the last column. The last 4 should be placed here. Take a look at the first row. We are missing a 1 and a 3. If we place a 1 here, then we will see 2 skyscrapers from the left, while we need to see 3. The 1 should be in the last column. And we fill in the missing 3. The last column is missing a 2. This row is missing a 1. The second column is missing a 1. And the third column is missing a 2. The puzzle is solved. This one was easy. Let's try and crack some hard ones. On harder puzzles there are only a few clues, and you should focus on these rows and columns. Let's check out the last column. We can use pencil notes to enter all possible candidates for each cell. We can't have a 2 anywhere on that column as it is already placed. The second cell cannot have a 1, as there is a 1 already on that row. We also place the candidates for the third cell. Now we can try and eliminate some candidates. The first row has two visible skyscrapers from the right. If there was a 4 in this cell it would block the view to all other skyscrapers. We can eliminate the 4 as a possible candidate for this cell. Similarly we cannot have a 4 on the third row, as only two skyscrapers will be visible from the bottom. The 4 can only be on the second row. Now if the 1 is on the third row, only two skyscrapers will be visible from the bottom. We should have the 3 in the third row. And we complete the column with the missing 1. Now let's check out the first row. We should have two visible skyscrapers from the right, and we have a 1 already next to the clue. Anything placed next to the 1 will also be visible. If we place anything other than 4 there, then 3 skyscrapers will be visible from the right. Therefore we should place the 4 next to the 1, to hide the 2 and the 3. The rest of the puzzle is trivial. Let's try another one. We can easily place a 4 in the top right corner because of the 1. Now let's see where we can place a 4 in the second column. It cannot be on the first row, because we already have a 4 there. 
We cannot have a 4 on the last row, because it will block the view to all other skyscrapers and we need to see 3. Similarly if the 4 is on the third row we will only be able to see 2 skyscrapers from the bottom. This means that the 4 is on the second row. Now let's find the 4 on the third row. The first cell is not an option, as it will block the view to the other skyscrapers and we need to see two. We already have a 4 in the second and the fourth column, so the 4 must be in the third column. Let's focus on this cell. If we had a 3 there, it would violate the 2 on the left. And if we had a 1 there, we will see only two skyscrapers from the bottom. So we must have a 2 in that cell. We must have a 3 in this cell, because if it was 1 we would see 3 skyscrapers from the left. And we must have a 1 in this cell, because if it was a 3, we would see only 2 skyscrapers from the bottom. We complete the second column and the third row. Check out this cell. If we place a 1 there, then we will see 3 skyscrapers from the top. So we must have a 2 in that cell. If we place a 3 in the cell below, we will see 3 skyscrapers from the top. So we must have a 1 in that cell. The rest of the puzzle is easy to complete. You are ready to solve some puzzles using your new skills. In the next video I will show you how to make the most out of the interface of puzzle-skyscrapers.com. I will show you all the settings, different modes and helpers. How to play on a desktop computer or on a mobile device.